poorly drawn lines has one of the most absurd styles of comedy that I have seen in a webcomic, and I love it. It tells no real story, and only has a couple recurring characters like Ernesto and Kevin. Ernesto and Kevin don't even have monstrous personalities. Oh, so it might use humor that we can relate to then. Well, not really. Does it have dark humor or maybe some form of shock humor? No. Is it hilarious? Yes. Poorly Drawn Lines places its characters in strange situations that oddly resonate with the reader. The majority of these are not actually relatable, as I mentioned earlier. It more strips relatable comedy down to its essence and transports those elements into situations that are usually quite ridiculous. Take this particular comic, for example. Believe it or not, I've never been a skeleton or a vampire, yet I can still feel for the skeleton. It's not a full-on joke, and I can't really put myself in the skeleton's shoes, but it still entertains me more than the average comic. Of course, there are outliers. Not every comic consists of this specific mixture, yet it's this type of comic that shows up most frequently. It consistently provides laughs, but more so acts as a nice, odd, calming agent. The simple art style complements this. Nothing is drawn too crazily, nothing shocks your mind. This style of comic makes it very bingeable on dreary days. And of course, bingeability is very, very important. Is it for everyone? No. But it's so truly unique that I believe everyone should give it a shot. Many hold it in high regard. There's a reason why the strip has nearly 2 million followers, as well as 3 entire books. By stripping the relayability in relayable comedy, Poorly Drawn Lines has struck a weird balance that allows its unique style to be comforting, strange, and funny all at once. I give Poorly Drawn Lines a 9.7 out of 10, and recommend it to everyone out there. Thank you for listening.